And for those of you taking 212, uh, you're going to run into logistical model quite frequently in 212. Once you do the exponentials, the logistical model is there. Logistical model. And where the logistical model, and it's an ugly model, and if you want to take a look at it, there it is right there. That's ugly. It is just but ugly. And essentially, we usually see, you see one of the places you see the logistical model is in uh, the biological sciences as well as the uh, uh, as well as business and it is in a predator prey problem and it's like if you had an ecosystem that only had uh, one prey and one predator per se so it's like having deer and wolves and so essentially one is the predator and the other is the prey so essentially what you would do is you start out with so many deer and the deer population would increase well if you have wolves the wolf population increases but it's increasing actually is a faster rate than the deer population because I think deer usually have one mat maybe two but usually one and so at which point what begins to happen is that the deer goes up and at some point in time the amount of deer is is equal to the amount of wolf population that it feeds so then the the growth in the deer population levels off because we're now nature's now in balance well we know that the wolves are reproducing faster than the deer because they have more pups per, yeah, they have more pups per litter. So at which point what begins to happen is that the deer population begins to go down as the wolf population goes up. And so you reach the point in time where you get back down to here. But well, then the wolves start starving because there's not enough deer to eat, right? And so then the process begins to start all over again. It's the old predator prey. So it reaches a point in time that you are in equilibrium and then be, if one is reproducing faster than the other, it doesn't stay that way. What happens quite frequently, especially when you look at the thinning of the deer and the kind of stuff with hunting that they have to do, there's not enough prey, there's not enough predators to thin out the herds. So then that's when man begins to intervene. Uh, because why? We've interfered with the, the natural order of things. So you go in and intervene in that, in that respect. So that's the predator prey problem. Of course, one is increasing, one is decreasing. You can figure out negative is decreasing, positive is increasing. And that's what this basically says. Here's your logistical model. Uh, C, by the way, uh, ends up being the maximum point. That's this guy right here. That's that top. That's a maximum it will ever get. Uh, it's much easier to look at in calculus than it is here as to why that is the case. But the logistical model has a horizontal asymptote. So we can actually say that this guy has a horizontal asymptote. And it is uh, y equals c on the top. He has two horizontal asymptotes. What's the other horizontal asymptote? What happens here? He's going to run along the x-axis. So it's going to be y equals 0 on the bottom. He's got two, he's got two horizontal asymptotes, bottom and top. So this thing is smushed between a maximum and a minimum. Minimum of zero and a maximum of whatever that happens to be up here on top. So what you're looking at is that you've got constants A, B. B is going to be your rate again. C, that's your upper asymptote. And C, and they say B is positive. As time increases, T goes to infinity. And A, E to the minus B over T, and the model approaches zero. And you're going to say, well, why is that the case? As T 
goes to infinity, we have AE to the negative BT, which is the same as A over E to the BT, which is A over E to the B times infinity, and E to the infinity is just infinity, which is A over infinity, which we know goes to zero from our work with horizontal asymptotes. So that's why you've got this on the sun. And so when working with this thing, the hardest thing, by the way, when working with it more than anything else is solving for T when you have to do that. It's unpleasant. But there are tricks of the trade.